Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na ang tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay ko po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagdagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Good morning, Valenzuelano learners. Welcome to another session of Valenzuela Live Technology and Livelihood Education, Kukeri 9. Week 7 for this third quarter. I'm Mrs. Josefina L. Bernardo of Polo National High School, your virtual teacher in today's lesson. There are simple rules to follow during our class to ensure our productive and effective learning. Number one, prepare your module for your reference, paper and pen for taking down important notes and answering our activities. Number two, listen attentively. Number three, use the chat box for your question related to the topic. And number four, poli be polite at all times and appropriate when chatting. Are all these reminders clear, grade 9 learners? Very good. Let's get started. Let us now discuss preparing sandwiches using sanitary practices. Here are our learning competencies. Prepare a variety of sandwiches and prepare sandwich using sanitary practices. At the end of today's lesson, you will be able to prepare sandwich using different ingredients, observe sanitary practices during the preparation, and utilize materials without wastage. Now class, before we proceed to our new topic, let us first have a short recap of what you learned from your previous lesson. I call it, Choose Your Favorite. I will show a set of pictures of foods and you, all you have to do is to choose among them and name it. Your choice can be different from your classmates. Type the name of your choice in the comment box section and you will be given 5 seconds to answer. Are you ready? Let's begin! Which among these 3 kinds of bread will you choose? You have 5 seconds to answer. Go! The correct answers may be the following. We have buns, sliced bread, or flat bread. That's a great choice. Which among these meat fillings will you choose? You have five seconds. Go. The answers may be ham or hams, patty or patties, sausage or sausages. Good job at naming your favorite so far. All of these sauces are flavorful. Which among the three is your favorite? The 
The answer is maybe we have ketchup, mustard, or mayonnaise. Wow, what a good choice. Uh oh, this might be a tough question, but you need to pick one from this. Among these three, which are you going to choose? And the answers are lettuce, onion, or tomato. Very good. Let's move to number five. You only got to choose one type of spread. Which of these two do you like the most? We have butter or cheese. Great job, learners! To give you an idea of what we are going to discuss today, I want you to look at my favorites. I chose the following. Sliced bread, palm, ketchup, lettuce, and cheese. Question. What kind of light meal do you think I can prepare out of my favorites? Please comment down your answer. Very good! Using the ingredients we have chosen, I can prepare a light meal called sandwich. A sandwich is a food typically consisting of vegetables, sliced cheese or meat, placed on or between slices of bread. Or more generally, any dish wherein bread serves as a container or wrapper for another food type. The sandwich used to be a convenient Western finger food, but over time, it has become prevalent worldwide. Very good, class! Today, we are going to discuss how to prepare sandwiches using sanitary practices. Let's begin in finding out where did the word sandwich originate? Did you know the sandwich was named after John Montagu? He was the fourth Earl of Sandwich, an 18th century English aristocrat. It is said that he ordered, ordered his valet to bring him meat that is stuffed between two pieces of bread, and it appears to be known as bread and meat. It is commonly said that the Lord Sandwich was fond of this form of food because it allowed him to continue playing cards while eating without using a fork and without getting his cards from eating with his bare hands. Nowadays, we commonly consume sandwiches at work, school, or picnics. We use plain slices of bread and coat them with condiments like mustard, mayonnaise, or ketchup to enhance its flavor and texture. At this point, let us discuss the important points to remember in preparing sandwich. Number one, choose the bread. You may choose from sliced bread that is commonly used in preparing sandwiches. Open buns are best for hamburgers, and flat bread is used for wrap sandwiches. Number two, choose condiments. Condiments make the bread moist and add flavor and texture to the food. You should spread them as close to the edge of the bread.
butter, mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, pesto, barbecue sauce, and hollandaise sauce are common condiments used in preparing sandwiches. Number three, choose the filling. We have different fillings and spreads that you can choose from. You may choose from meat, like sausage patties, deli meat, loose meat, or chicken breast. Whether you stock your sandwich with meat, cheese, or egg salad, it is important to have a source of protein between the bread. Protein is necessary for building and repairing muscles and tissue. Plus, high-protein foods help you feel full, which helps if you are trying to manage your weight. You may also add vegetables in your filet, like salad leaves, sliced tomatoes, sliced onions, and stir-fried vegetables. Make yourself a goal to have at least vegetable servings per sandwich. These nutrient-rich veggies and spice flavor and crunch to your sandwich so it tastes more filling and Decadent. You can make your sandwich more special by adding cheese in your filling as it adds more flavor and texture to your sandwich. On its own, cheese is a good source of some vitamins, minerals, and protein. You may use sliced or crumbled cheese. Good sandwich cheeses are peas and cheddar. Spreads and other food items like egg salad, fried egg, peanut butter, jelly, marmalade, and chocolate spread can also be used as fillings in your sandwiches. After choosing your preferred bread, condiments, and filling, you are now ready to do number four which is to assemble the sandwich. Make sure that you wash your hands and other ingredients. Use clean plates as well as other tools and materials in preparing the sandwiches and then layer the ingredients between the two pieces of bread. And lastly, number five, remember to cook the sandwich to serve it hot during breakfast and dinner. So again, there are five important points to remember in preparing sandwiches. Number one, choose the bread. Number two, choose the condiments. Number three, choose the filling. Number four, assemble all the sandwich ingredients. And number five, cook the sandwich and serve it hot. We must also consider the following ways on how to heat or cook sandwiches. Never use microwave. This will make your sandwich saggy and nobody wants to eat a saggy sandwich. Letter B, use a frying pan or griddle. Cover the bread that will be touching the pan with butter and mayonnaise. Cook the sandwich over low heat until the cheese melts. Don't forget to flip it. Or, you can also use a broiler. Put a sandwich on a pan and place it under the preheated broiler for about 5 minutes. Aside from the important points to remember and proper ways to cook and heat sandwiches, you should also remember these tips in preparing sandwiches. Letter A. 
Keep slices of bread together in pairs when cutting to have them fit together. Letter B, have butter, margarine, or spread kept at room temperature to avoid tearing of bread when spreading. Cream butter if necessary or soften it. Spread very thinly on slices. Letter C, fillings may be simple or more expensive. Simple fillings are egg, cheese, and tuna, while lunch and meat, corned beef, and sausages are expensive fillings. Letter D. Bread may be multi-layered with one or more types of fillings as in multi-decker sandwiches. Letter E, valued colors of bread may be combined and sliced into different shapes to make interesting designs for the sandwich. Apply the spread evenly to prevent sagginess. Letter G, very serving sandwiches by using different kinds of bread fillings. Cut them into different shapes. And letter H, choose garnishes that enhance the flavor of the filling to make sandwiches taste as good as they look. Were you able to follow through the discussion class? Very well. We are almost done with today's lesson. But before we proceed to our assessment, let us watch a short video. Watch carefully and take note of how sandwiches are prepared using sanitary practices. Here is the video. Preparing sandwiches with Mom Bernardo. Let us have it first, kitchen safety and sanitation rules. Always wash your hand in warm soapy water before and after cooking. Wash all the ingredients. How to make multi-layered sandwich? Let's prepare all the ingredients. Start peeling and slicing the cucumber. Dice the tomato. Prepare the lettuce. Toast the bread. And fry the sliced half. And here is the complete ingredient. Cook ham, sliced bread, mayonnaise, sliced cheese, cucumber, tomatoes. Let's assemble the sandwich. Spread the mayonnaise. Put the sliced ham and cheese. Add the cucumber, tomato, and lettuce. Put another slice of bread. Repeat steps for the second and third layer and cut the sandwich diagonally. And that's it, our multi-layered sandwich. How to make real cheese sandwich? Place bread onto the medium heated pan and add one slice of cheese. Grill until lightly browned and flip over continue grilling until cheese is melted. And slice the bread diagonally. Our grilled cheese sandwich. Thank you for watching.
through our discussion and the video you have watched earlier, you already know the important points and tips in preparing sandwiches. In what other learning areas do you think we can relate to today's lesson? You are correct. You can connect this lesson on preparing sandwiches to health and science, considering the importance of preparing sandwiches using sanitary practices. Before I give you your quiz for today, I want you to share what you have learned by completing the following phrases in a sheet of paper. I know, I will apply, and I will share. Your answer could follow these statements. I know the important points and tips to remember in preparing sandwiches. I will apply the sanitary practices in preparing sandwiches. And I will share the importance of knowing how to prepare sandwiches using sanitary practices. To further check your learning, I will give you a short quiz about our topic. Directions. Modify true or false. Click the heart emoji if the statement is correct. If not, change the underlined word by writing the correct answer in the comment box. So again, I will give you 5 seconds to answer. Number one, buns are best for hamburgers. And the correct answer is heart. Let's proceed to number two. Sandwich was named after John Earl. You have five seconds. Go. And the correct answer is John Montagu. Number three. Cook the sandwiches over high heat until the cheese melts. And the correct answer is no. Number four, bread may be multi-layered with one or more types of fillings. And the correct answer is hard. Number five. Chicken breast fillet is also considered as expensive filling compared to eggs and cheese. And the answer is heart. Did you get all the answers correctly? Well done, learners. You all did great today. We are now done with our lesson. For your assignment, answer the following activities in your learning module, TLE 9, Cookery, page 26 to 26. What's more and what I can do. What's more, directions. Write the word true if the statement is correct and false if it is wrong. 
For what I can do, directions, prepare a one-minute video of you preparing sandwiches. You may ask your TLE teacher about the guidelines and rubrics for your assignment. Let me end our day with this quote. Life is like a sandwich. You have to fill it with the best ingredients. That would be all for today, class. I hope you have learned a lot. Always remember, anuman ang sitwasyon, tuloy ang edukasyon. I'm your cookery teacher for today, Mrs. Josefina L. Bernardo, now signing off. Thank you and God bless everyone.